Congratulations on your new Karma. You're about to take an amazing journey with your GoPro camera, this time in flight. In this video, we'll show you what's in the Karma case and how to charge the devices. Here's what you'll find in the box. The Karma controller, the Karma drone and battery, the Karma stabilizer, six propellers, Karma charger and power cable, Karma mounting ring, a wrist lanyard. Karma also includes the Karma grip, so you can still use the camera stabilizer even when you're not flying. For details about the grip, visit gopro.com slash your karma. Let's take a closer look at the drone. The body has foldable landing gear and four arms, which make it super easy to transport. Karma is powered by a battery that comes already installed. On the front of Karma, you'll find a camera stabilizer to help you get buttery smooth video from the air. Attached to the stabilizer is a harness that is compatible with either your Hero 5 or Hero 4 black or silver. Everything you need to get Karma safely up in the air and back home again is in the controller. It includes five buttons, a power button, a start-stop button, a land button, a shutter button, and a mode tag button. We'll talk more about using these buttons in later videos. With the two joysticks, you control the speed and direction of Karma. The camera tilt wheel lets you point the camera up or down to get the perfect shot. The controller's touch screen gives you important flight info, messages, and maps, and it lets you enjoy Karma's amazing view from the air. On the front of the controller, you'll find a charging port and a tether point so you can attach a wrist lanyard. To get started, let's charge the drone and controller batteries. First, pull the lock bar and remove the battery from the drone. Connect the battery and the controller to the charger. Then plug the charger into the wall. When all four battery status lights on the controller are lit, the controller is fully charged. When the lights on the Karma battery are off, the battery is fully charged. In an emergency, you can even use a spare Karma battery to charge the controller without a power outlet. As long as the white light on the charger is lit, you can connect the battery and the controller to the charger. Power is transferred from your battery to the controller. Next up, let's assemble the parts. 